Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am going to teach you mathematics students. In the last class we have practiced first three questions of exercise number 1.4 and today we will be continuing this exercise up to the end of the questions. Okay, So today we will be doing the fourth to seventh question of exercise number 1.4 and today we will be completing your chapter number 1 as well. Alright students, so let's start with the fourth question. What it says, write five pair of integers a comma b such that a divided by b is equals to minus 3 one such pair is 6 comma minus 2 because 6 divided by minus 2 is equals to minus 3 the operation is students a divided by b is equals to minus 3 and the thing that is given to us or the one such pair given to us is 6 minus 2 okay 6 minus 2 that means that when you are dividing 6 with minus 2 the answer is minus 3 okay all right now we have to find such pair of integers okay so let's start students the first pair you can also do minus 6 and 2 okay because 9 minus 6 is the another integer as it is not 6 okay so you can also have minus 6 divided by 2 is equals to minus 3 all right students okay second pair which is equal to minus 15 divide and 5 minus 15 divided by 5 is equals to minus 3 all right students third pair which is we can take minus 12 and 4 okay so minus 12 divided by 4 is equals to minus 3 all right students fourth pair we can take we can take students 12 then minus 4 okay so 12 divided by minus 4 is equals to minus 3 okay and we can take the fifth pair as 15 and minus 5 okay 15 and minus 5 so 15 divided by minus 5 is equals to minus 3 all right students so these are the five pairs for your convenience i can show you sixth pair you can take 60 and 20 case okay 60 and minus 20 60 divided by minus 20 is equals to minus 3 all right students so basically this is your first pair this is your second pair this is your third pair this one is your fourth pair fifth pair sixth pair okay because from these all pairs you can have the operation of a divided by b is equals to minus 3 all right students so let's move to the another question another question question number 5 okay the temperature at 12 noon was 10 degree celsius above 0 okay basically it is saying that at 12 noon the temperature was plus 10 degree celsius okay above 0 means plus 10 degrees celsius okay if it decreases at the rate of 2 degrees celsius per hour okay it decreases at rate of 2 degrees celsius per hour which means that it is like this per hour okay minus 2 degrees celsius all right so until midnight okay it is decreasing until midnight at what time would the temperature be 8 degrees celsius below 0 so we have to find out the time or the hours after what it will be minus 8 okay 8 degrees celsius below 0 means you have to find out at what time it will be minus 8 degrees celsius if it's starting from 10 degrees celsius and decreasing at the rate of 2 degrees celsius per hour at what time or at after how many hours it will be minus 8 degrees celsius all right students and also what would be the temperature at midnight you are, you are also uh, asked to find out what is the temperature at midnight okay that is 12 am you are given 12 noon so what is the difference between 12 noon and 12 midnight 12 hours okay 
so we have to find these particular two parts all right so firstly we will be doing the first part that is at what time would the temperature be a degree celsius below zero okay at 1 am at 1 pm after that one hour temperature was plus 10 and it is decreasing by minus 2 degree celsius at every hour in every hour so plus 10 minus 2 is equals to 8 degree celsius okay at 2 pm 8 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius that is 6 degree celsius all right students at 3 pm 6 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius that is 4 degree celsius you have to find out the time at which the temperature is minus 8 degree celsius which is set to you 8 degree celsius below 0 all right students so at 4 pm what is it 4 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius which is equals to 0, 2 degree celsius all right at 5 pm 2 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius equals to 0 degree celsius all right students at 6 pm 0 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius equals to minus 2 degree celsius all right students 0 minus 2 is equals to minus 2 okay at 7 pm minus 2 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius which is equals to minus 4 degree celsius okay so at 8 pm minus 4 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius is equals to minus 6 degree celsius all right students and at 9 pm minus 6 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius equals to minus 8 degree celsius okay now this is what we have to find out okay at 9 pm the temperature will be minus 8 degree celsius all right students so you can clearly have a look at 1 pm 10 minus 2 is equals to 8 at 2 pm it is 8 minus 2 6 okay at 3 6 minus 2 4 similarly at 9 pm it is minus 6 degree celsius minus 2 degree celsius that is equals to minus 8 degree celsius all right students so the time the temperature would be minus 8 degree celsius is at 9 pm all right so the answer is at 9 pm all right students so now we'll be discussing its next part that is what would be the temperature at midnight we have to find out the temperature at midnight all right all right so gap of temperature gap of hours okay midnight and noon is equals to 12 hours and we know that temperature is decreasing at the speed of minus 2 degree celsius per hour okay so 12 into minus 2 degree celsius per hour so the temperature will decrease by minus 24 degree celsius all right students so the temperature will decrease minus 2 degree celsius okay minus 24 degree celsius the initial temperature was initial temperature was 10 degree celsius above 0 plus 10 degree celsius so temperature at midnight is equals to plus 10 degree celsius and the temperature decrease that is minus 24 degree celsius which is equal to plus 10 minus 24 that is equals to minus 14 degree celsius this is the answer students all right so this was your fifth question okay so now we'll be discussing the sixth question what is sixth question in a class test plus three marks are given for every correct answer and minus two marks are given for every incorrect answer okay we have done similar question in the examples plus three for correct answers and minus two for incorrect answers all right zero for unattempted question okay so radhika scored 20 marks if she has got 12 answers correct how many question has she attempted incorrectly okay now in this question students we know that radhika has attempted 12 correct answers okay so correct for correct answers she'll be getting correct answers 12 okay and for every correct answer she is getting plus 3 marks 
so basically for doing the correct answer she she would have got 36 marks right so marks deducted now she is getting 20 marks so it is clear that if she has attempted only and only correct questions then her marks should be 36 and now her marks are 20 so basically the marks deducted is equals to 20 minus 36 all right she has got 20 marks and she would have got 36 if she hadn't attempted any incorrect question right so 20 minus 36 is equals to minus 16 marks so this minus 16 marks are deducted basically for attempting incorrect questions all right so attempting incorrect question means how many questions she has attempted incorrectly she is getting minus 2 marks for attempting every incorrect question so incorrect answers is equals to minus 16 divided by minus 2 why divided we have to find out how many questions she has attempted incorrectly okay so minus 16 minus divided by minus 2 is equals to 8 questions so she has attempted 8 incorrect questions all right students you can have a look correct answer she had got 36 marks okay so 20 minus 36 is equals to minus 16 these minus 16 are the marks that are deducted from her marks because she has attempted incorrect answers okay so the incorrect answers are 8 all right so now we'll move to the next part Mohini scores minus 5 marks in the class test okay though she has got 7 correct answers okay she has correct answers how many 7 okay so 7 into plus 3 which is equals to 21 marks she would have got 21 marks but now she has got minus 5 marks okay so marks deducted because of attempting incorrect answers okay which is equals to minus 5 minus 21 which is equals to minus 26 26 marks are deducted because she has attempted incorrect questions so how many questions she has attempted incorrectly is minus 2 minus cancel 13 questions she has attempted wrong okay so these are the number of incorrect answers all right students you can have a look also okay so basically the marks deducted are due to attempting of incorrect answers all right students so now we'll move to the last question of this chapter question number seven an elevator descends into a mine shaft at the rate of six meter per minute okay it is descending it means that its rate is minus six meter per minute okay if the descent starts from 10 meter above the ground level how long will it take to reach minus 350 meters okay it is initially on 10 meter plus 10 meter and now it wants to go down to minus 30 meter okay so the total distance that the elevator has to like cover is equals to initial distance it was at plus 10 meter okay and now it wants to reach at a point minus 350 okay final point to reach is equals to minus 350 meter so total distance traveled is equals to minus 350 meters that is the final position it wants to go okay and the initial point minus 10 okay so minus 360 meters the elevator has to cover the distance of minus 350 meters to reach the final point or the final destination all right students and it is descending at the rate of minus 6 meter per minute all right students so how long will it take so time taken you have to find okay time taken is equals to total distance upon the rate all right so total distance is equals to minus 360 meter and rate is equals to minus 6 okay that means minus 360 divided by minus 6 
minus 360 divided by minus 6 is equals to 60 minutes ok 60 minutes why it is in why it is this thing is in minutes because in rate you are mentioned minute all right 60 minutes is equals to 1 hour all right students so you can also write 1 hour so in this way you can clearly and easily find out this question all right you can also have a look the rate was minus 6 meter per minute all right the initial distance was 10 degree 10 minutes okay 10 the initial distance was at plus 10 meters okay the final point it wants to reach is minus 350 so the total distance was minus 350 minus 10 that is equals to minus 360 meter okay and the time taken would be minus 360 divided by minus 6 that is equals to 60 minutes all right students 60 minutes is equals to 1 hour so in this way you can clearly find out the questions so today we have completed the chapter number one students you have to practice this particular one chapter at your home with example with questions with concepts all right so do study at your home students so we'll be meeting in your next class starting the second chapter of your syllabus all right students have a nice day bye bye